Greetings, this is Skippy with On The Fly Photography, another Lightroom tutorial here. What we're talking about this time is organizing presets. Here we are in Lightroom, pop over to Develop Module. What you're seeing right here on the left is my user presets folder. This is where all my user presets have gotten dumped because that's the default place for them. You can, of course, when you create a preset, put it any place you want. But if you're like me, now you've built up a bunch of presets, they're in your user, user presets folder, you want to reorganize this a little bit. What I specifically want to do is I have a lot of presets in here that I have created for doing post-processing for bands in specific venues. Because of course if you shoot music, every venue, different lighting, and a lot of bands, you know, different looks. So anyhow, like for example, all these presets right here, Mama Lenny, all of these right here for Jessica, these right here for Eric, these up here for Dead Floyd, all of these were for specific bands under specific conditions. I don't want to get rid of these presets, but I don't want them cluttering up my user presets folder. So what you would typically do, you come up here, you right click on your preset folders, you create a new folder, I'm going to call this new folder Lightroom 4 Bands, it's going to create that new folder. I can then come down here, grab these, and drag them up, and reorganize that way. You can't grab more than one preset at a time, so you got to do this one at a time. That's going to get really old really fast. I'm going to undo that move, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this folder I just created. Another similar situation goes on over here in the print module, which we're getting to. In the print module, I've created a bunch of user templates. Amongst them, I've created a series of templates for Zazzle posters. I've got a folder up here I created for Zazzle, but I've created a bunch of these in the user templates instead of in there. I want to get these up into here. Again, I can drop and drag. I can do that all day long. Yada, yada, yada. That's going to get really old really fast. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to change where these presets are stored. We're just going to do it directly and quickly. It's going to take less time than we've already blown talking about this. Now, if you watched my other video on uh, creating shortcuts and configuration saving for Lightroom, blah, 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 I'll link to that. You will have somewhere on your desktop a link, in this case mine is right here, which takes you directly to your Lightroom presets folder. And that's where we need to go. If you don't have that, you can find it, and if you don't know where it is, and it's buried deep, so you do have to look hard for it. That's why I create the shortcut. Come over here to, <clears throat> excuse me, preferences, general presets. Here we go. Presets and preferences show Lightroom presets folder. Hit that. It's going to pop up your Lightroom presets folder. Okay. I need to make Lightroom go away. We're going to close Lightroom. Right here, Lightroom. Double click that. Now you're in your presets folder. These are all of your Lightroom configuration stuff. So the first thing we want to look for is develop presets. It's right there. We're going to go into that. Here you see it. There's your, there's your user presets folder. Here's all your other preset folders. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Lightroom for Bands. Then I'm going to go into user presets. And I'm going to grab, I'm going to select rather, all the presets I want to move. I want to move Dead Floyd, I want to move Devin, I want to move Eric, Gypsy Skillet, Jessica. Let's start there. I've selected all those. I'm going to grab them. I'm going to drag them to Lightroom 4 Bands folder. I also want to move Mama Lenny. She's going into Lightroom 4 Bands. I think, I think that covers it. Yep, good to go. All right, I'm going to pop back up to this. Now we're looking for the print templates. There they go, print templates. I'm going into there. Here's my user templates. You see, there's my Zazzle posters. And I'm going to grab those. I'm going to drag them to the Zazzle directory. Now there's that Zazzle directory. It has all of my Zazzle posters in it. I'm going to go ahead and exit that. I'm going to go ahead and restart Lightroom. Chug, 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 chug. 
now take a look at that there is my Zazzle directory right here all the Zazzle poster templates are in there they are no longer in the user templates directory let's bounce back to develop chug 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 here see there's my user presets oh I forgot about Lindsay O'Brien she still ended up being in there it's okay I'll move her later Lightroom 4 bands there it is new folder all of those presets develop presets that I moved are now over there not cluttering this up anymore and of course you can still move things the old way well in theory <laughs> no you really can See, it's trying to apply it, which is, and this is, see, and this is the another another annoying aspect of this. It's like I want to move that, I don't want to apply it. Let me go ahead and undo that. So this is why manipulating your presets directly through Lightroom can be slightly annoying. It's a lot faster and easier to do it by utilizing your file manager. All right, have fun. See you later. Bye bye.